You may or may not have heard the term mask mouth. And you're probably wondering, is this a real thing? Yes, it is. And here to tell us more about it and how we can prevent it is a general dentist, Dr. Sharon Robinson. Hey, Doc. Never heard the term general dentist before. Yes. Hi, Dana. Good morning. We're learning a lot of new things with COVID. Yes. It's a new life, new way of life, new experiences. Yes. So, so tell us, what is mask mouth? Mask mouth, first of all, it's not an official diagnosis. All right, let's get that clear. It is a term that's being used um, very commonly now within the dental fraternity. And it describes a range of symptoms that uh, affects the mouth. And it comes about from wearing the mask for extended periods of time. Okay, all right. So tell me a little bit then, let's walk it through. What are some of the things are, are what are some of the ways in which wearing the mask for an extended period of time may affect the mouth? What are some of the things that happen? All right, so, so the challenge is one, bad breath. Um, it's hard enough speaking through the mask and you have to speak louder. Mm -hmm. um, many, are, or many of us find it, it feels funny and it's just a weird experience. Uh, by when you speak in your mask, you you tend to do more of uh, deposit more of the oral bacteria to the inside of your mask. So upon rebreathing, right? Because we, we breathe more through our mouths when we're wearing the mask, believe it or not. Um, upon rebreathing, what happens is you are now recirculating that oral bacteria back into your mouth and boosting the level of bacteria inside your mouth hence increasing your chances of having bad breath, increasing your risk for tooth decay. We, uh, it induces the inflammatory process that will cause uh, gum disease, for example. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, and I'm seeing here dry mouth, which, which can also result in, 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 in bad breath, right? Yeah, it, it all ties together in that um, because we're breathing more, we're breathing, it's, it's uh, shallow breaths, it's, it's, it's rapid. We're not breathing from the diaphragm, you know, we're mm. not taking deep breaths. Uh, the, the quality of our breathing increases the, it decreases the, uh, the pH inside your mouth, so it becomes more acidic. The acidity affects the floor of your mouth. You speaking or breathing through your mouth dries your mouth out. Extensive wearing of the mask means that you are not hydrating enough. Yeah. So it's important to take mask breaks, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, it all ties together and we just have to be more aggressive with our oral care. Mm -hmm. We have to be more aggressive with that. Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about how can you prevent it. And it's interesting that you're saying this because, I mean, and we say it as a joke sometimes, that because you're now wearing the mask, people don't take the dental hygiene as seriously because they feel like, oh, well, the mask is masking everything. But what you're saying here is that you, sh you need to pay even more attention to your mouth because of the mask, right? Yeah, and a funny thing happens though, for example, persons who had issues with bad breath before COVID and it's mandatory to wear a mask, they're now struggling with their own stench, um, for lack of a better word, right? Wow, wow. So they're now faced with their own truth. And yes, persons will, I think it's a positive though, in that it makes them more aware. aware. Mm -hmm. they, right, right. You're not, you're not, you're not smelling it, right? Mm -hmm. I am smelling it because it's mine and I'm rebreathing my own exhaled air. Yeah. So it becomes a bit much. So yes. Yeah. We We've have seen some, a lot more cleaning. <laughs> we have some tips here. One of the basic ones is make sure the masks are clean. That is important that the masks Very important. are clean. Mm -hmm. Make sure they're Very clean. important. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we forget, we look at the external because it's protecting us from the, the, the person that next to you, but you want to protect yourself in that you're recycling your oral bacteria. It's not just air, you know, 
when you're speaking louder or you speak, you're moving uh, droplets of your bacteria depositing in the fabric of the inner layer of the, of the mask. So if you're not washing it, you're recycling that. No, this is a very of course, interesting we discussion. sharing our masks. No, this is a very interesting discussion because I think a lot of people feel like um, once you expel it into the mask, it goes off somewhere into, a <laughs> into the cloud. <laughs> but we're rebreathing. Yeah. We're rebreathing. Yeah, it so can become embedded in the fabric. In the mouth, which it makes it more acidic and that induces other issues, the decay, inflammation of the gums, uh, dry mouth, uh, bad breath, all of that. All of so that. It has to be seriously. We just have to do just take these steps. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Take mass breaks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's very important. Right, when you're in an environment, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was going to say we have very little time, so I'm going to skip some of the things because you've already said sure. them, which includes taking a sure. mask break, practicing good oral yeah. hygiene. Um, keep yeah. hydrated. When you say keep hydrated, are we, are we specifically saying water? Water, please. Stay away from the sugar drinks because that will further dehydrate. So more water we should be doing now versus sugary drinks and coffees. Nice. Doc, this was really interesting. Um, thank you so much. And important. Yeah, yeah, and important. And I mean, because wearing the mask all the time is new to everybody. Um, it, it might, mm -hmm. This discussion is new, but it's very important for everyone to have in terms of mask mouth. Of course, you guys are doing an amazing job just putting out there, but because this, this is gonna be around for a while, wearing off the mask and learning how to deal with it because we have to wear the mask. Yeah, um, how, before you go, how is it? I know initially in, in, the, in the shutdown, um, dentists had minimized visits to just essential things. Has everything kind of opened up a little bit now? People want to go and get cleanings done, fillings done. Is that available now? That is available in our practice. We have taken, we have, we're, we're exercising the necessary measures to, um, for everyone to be safe. For example, in my practice, I have air purifiers in each room, high volume air purifiers in each room. But patients are more confident now. I mean, people are coming out for, for not just cleanings, but root canals, crowns, extractions. Uh, stuff that needs to be done, practicing social distancing, not having an overcrowded waiting room. Mm -hmm. um, if that's the case, persons will wait outside. All right. But that, yes, persons are coming in. They're coming in. All right. Thank you so much, Doc, for speaking with us this morning. Thank you, Dale. Thank you so much for having me. Good job, guys. <laughs> General Dentist Dr. Sharon Robinson. Out of the break. A surprise for one of our very own. Stick and stay for that. We'll be right back. <laughs> 